So in this video, we're going to solve a first order differential equation by using a integrating factor. Now, before we start, what we need to do is just examine exactly when we can use it. We can use it if we've got our equation in the form dy dx plus a function of x times y equals a function of x. And we're going to then use this method of finding an integrating factor and multiplying through. Now, it's going to look quite challenging the first time you do it, but after you've done a couple of examples, it's reasonably straightforward. So first of all, if I look at this example that I've got, I can see that it's not in the form dy by dx. It's got x dy by dx. So the first thing I'm going to do is just divide this by x. So now if I divide it by x, I've got dy by dx plus 3yx plus ex over, sorry, that's an equals, x cubed. Uh, and that's excellent because now I've got it in the form of Pxy and my Px is 3 divided by x. And this is going to be my integrating factor. So we can see they've actually even told me that the integrating factor is 3 over x. Now what I'm going to do is go through the process of finding e to the power of Px, the integral of Px. Okay, let's just move this down a little bit. Okay, now that is going to give me e, and I'm going to integrate this 3 over x. So that gives me 3 log x. That can be written as 3 log x cubed. And just doing a bit of simplification, that becomes x cubed. Once I've got my e to the power of the integral of px, I'm going to multiply through, I'm going to multiply my expression through by x cubed. So I'm going to have x cubed dy by dx plus 3yx squared equals e to the x. Now, if we look at this part here, what we've actually got is d dx e to the power of my integrating factor y. So I'm just going to take you a minute, just going to give you a minute to think about that. You might want to pause the video. You might just want to have a look at this bit. That if we were to say, basically, if you were, I asked you to differentiate with respect to x, x cubed, that's that part there, times y, we would actually end up with this. And that is going to drop out every single time you do this type of thing. So what that means to us is if we come up here is I'm going to let me copy this here rather than write it all out again. What it means is if I take that expression and I integrate both sides. So if I integrate all of this, which looks really complicated, but it actually, I know the answer to that, and I integrate the other side as well. This will integrate to give me x cubed y. And every time that's going to happen, so it's going to give me the integrating factor times y. And this then equals ex plus c. 
So from there, I can say that y equals e x plus c divided by x cubed. So I think the tricky thing here is just to remember that when you've got that left-hand side after you've multiplied it by the integrating factor, if we go to integrate both sides, we already know the answer as e to the integral of px times y. I suggest that you do a few more examples of this and it should stick in your mind how to do the integrating factor.